Um, <clears throat> hey, Pastor Mike, when is the earliest in church history that we see Christians worshiping on Sunday instead of the Sabbath? Did it begin with the Catholic Church or was it before? God bless. Good question. So, <clears throat> uh, as far as the the um, the calendar is concerned, the Sabbath is the is the last day of the week, right? That's Saturday, Sabado. Uh, <laughs> I live in Southern California, <laughs> Sabado. Um, and then you have Sunday, which is the first day of the week. Many people just it sort of start thinking of Monday as the first day of the week because it's like the first day of your work week. But Sunday is the first day of the week. In scripture, it uses the same terminology. First day of the week is referring to Sunday. And so when we get to, um, let's start with Luke 24. On the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they and certain other women with them came to the tomb, bringing the spices which they prepared. First day of the week, they come to the tomb, right? In John 20, it's the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene comes to the tomb. Jesus rose on the first day. That's the idea we get consistently in scripture, that Jesus rose on the first day. That day became pretty important to Christians. It was the day of the resurrection of Jesus. And it seems right away, like very early on, people started gathering on the first day of the week. Here we go in uh, Acts 20, verse 7. <clears throat> Where it says, on the first day of the week, when we were gathered together to break bread, Paul talked with them, intending to depart on the next day, and he prolonged his speech until midnight. This is where he has that really long sermon. He teaches like like a like a longer than one of my videos sermon, <laughs> um, and he goes on till midnight, till late in the night. But this tells you not just that they happened to be gathered on the first day of the week, but it was when they gathered. Like it's on the first day of the week. Why is he mentioned the day? Because this is the routine. When we gather together for what? To break bread, which is not just a coincidental thing. Acts 2 says that they were they gathered regularly to, bake, to break bread, that this was like a, a formal meal and not just an informal thing. This was a Christian gathering, probably communion as well. Paul talks with them. So there they are, gathered on the first day of the week. That That's on Sunday, right? That's, that's Sunday. That's interesting. Well, in 1 Corinthians 16, 2, we get another occurrence of first day of the week. Paul tells them, now concerning, I'll start in verse 1, the collection for the saints. This, this is, uh, the, they're collecting money to give away to poor Christians in other cities. As I directed the churches of Galatia, so also you are to do. On the first day of the week, each of you is to put something aside and store it up as he may prosper, so that there will be no collecting when I come. The first day, why the first day of the week? Because that seems like that was the regular gathering day. That, that was, that's not... Crystal clear, but it seems implied. It seems implied. Um, then we have like Revelation that talks about the Lord's Day, uh, where he's 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 praying and stuff, and it's on the Lord's Day. This is where the, the first day of the week is starting to be just be called the Lord's Day, not the Sabbath, but probably the day that the, of the resurrection. My answer then is um, is well, it's not complete. Let me just add another element. The um, the early Jews gathered on Sabbath at the temple, but the church consisted of not just Jews, but of Gentiles as well. They gathered for their own Christian service. They're, they're, we're all followers of Jesus, whether we're Jewish or not, on the first day of the week regularly. There's times where they gathered every day, especially in the very, very beginning of the book of Acts. But when it became routine, it seems like it's that routine immediately, first century life of the apostles, that they were gathering on the first day of the week, not the last day, the Sabbath. The Jews continue to gather on the Sabbath. It's not as though they didn't go to the temple on the Sabbath. In the book of Acts, we still see them continuing to participate in those activities. So I'm not saying they quit one and did the other. If you were Jewish, you probably went to the temple, and then the next day you gathered together with your Christian brothers and sisters. That is, I think, what we what we see there. Um, uh, so yeah, there's probably more I could layer on to this, but I'm just giving you the, the off-the-top-of-my-head answer. So, All right, let's look at number 11. <clears throat> 